All right, this video is about me attempting my first ultra. So stick to the end and enjoy the video. All right, gonna go and get some food for the event, for the run, and yeah. Alright, so we're here at the supermarket and we're getting some fruits for the 100k that's tomorrow. Crazy. But yeah, got some ham gummies, some sandwiches, and yeah. Alright, it's the night before the 100k's and it's around 10.30 right now. And I'm just getting everything all sorted out, packing everything, and uh, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit tired, but I'm, I'm pretty excited for the run. So, I'll give you guys a little quick tour of what I'm taking and what I'm using. So, it's, it is a mess, but this is what or is it like the gear that I'll be running tomorrow. For the watch, we have the Phoenix 6. Uh, these are some of the caffeinated gels that I'll be taking my trail shoes because it's a trail run these are the Saucony peregrine 13s if i'm not wrong we got a headlamp some like water bottles i'll take with me and uh, this is like the little jacket that'll be a uh, little vest i'll be taking with me throughout the run because yeah it's a three kilometer loop so these are the other gels i'll be taking my electrolytes my electrolytes got some other like supplements that i'll take throughout the run to help me some cookies in there and uh, yeah that is it for like the supplements and other stuff that i'll be taking and uh, yeah gonna go to sleep and tomorrow is a big day doing 100 kilometers which is crazy like never in a million years I would have thought that I would be running 100k's or attempting to run 100k's but it's crazy where life can take you put your head down work and uh, yeah now we're here 7 20 a.m. right now the race starts at 11 a.m. So a bit late start but I think it's because like it's a night team track so I'll be heading off from here around 9.30 and so I still got some hours to kill. Gonna have a nice breakfast, get all fueled up and ready to go. And yeah, let's see what happens throughout the day. It's gonna be a very long day. I have 13 hours to complete the race or the run, but I think I'll get it done in uh, maybe. But the goal is 12 hours 30. So yeah. Let's see how it goes and then So right beside the race so far it's going pretty good it is a bit hot out here this is the fit and yeah just are very hot to be honest pretty hot I think sturdy something degrees but yeah about almost three k's in but yeah feeling pretty good and yeah let's get this done time to go goggins mode so about 20 three k's in and i won't lie it's feeling hard my knees really messing me up making this whole thing hard so I'm walking right now and I'm worried that I might not be able to finish the 100 pace but I'll be going pushing until like the event is over I won't give up see how many cases I, I, I can get but yeah my sister got well, yeah my sister got me a knee brace so show it it's this I got down, down, down right now See if it helps a little bit but yeah the knee is it's so annoying but we just gotta get we just have to push through so far the knee 
Trees now it's better, so that's good. I can properly run. Still hurts a bit, but I can run now, so it's really good. I'm going up, I'm going up this big hill. Goes all the way down there. It might not look too big on the camera, but yeah, feeling pretty good right now. About 30 k's in, 31.4. Heart rate is so high, but yeah, yes it is. So far, so good. It's gonna be nighttime soon, and um, yeah. Unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to call it. I'm gonna maybe finish off with 50k, but my knee is gone. I can't bend it. But yeah. So, right now, 49k in. I'm gonna call it off at 50, maybe 51, 52. My knee is gone, so unfortunately I won't be able to complete the 100k, but that's in the future. But I'm pretty proud that I managed to do 50k's with a knee that's hurting like crazy since the start. But yeah, we move. Our big achievement today. Let's go! <laughs> Finished the 50k, 51.58k. Did it. Did it. Did the medal. Yes, sir. Got it. You can barely walk right now. You walk it around. Everything hurts. 50 k done. might be easier for you to stand on this side. So, it's been a week since my ultra, my first ultra, and basically all healed up right now. I got like a, a bit of a sore foot and just a little bit of the knee, but apart from that, I feel great. I already went back to the gym, but yeah, it was an incredible experience running. The goal was 100 kilometers, but I had knee problems at the start of the run, like maybe 5k's in, I had very sharp knee pain and uh, yeah that like messed up my whole run, like everything that could have gone wrong at that stage went wrong, it was very hot and uh, yeah I'll get more into that later but the main idea right now is gonna answer some questions and yeah so, first question, why did I start running? Well, I started running because I was getting bored of just going to the gym. I wanted to find something that would challenge me, like something new that would be interesting to do, something that would be hard. Because I saw so many people on YouTube running, hybrid athletes, and that like inspired me to do the same. Iman Ghazi running. He ran his first marathon, I was like, I gotta do something like that. So I started running and started around April of 2023 and here we are. Second question, what makes me want to run? Well, what makes me or what motivates me the most to run is the fact that it's hard, it's not easy, I won't lie. Sometimes I don't even want to go out for a run, I don't like it sometimes, but I know it's good for me It helps me develop the character that I'm like, I want to achieve or the man that I want to become I want to become like a strong individual and I know running will help me and sometimes it's very enjoyable You get, let's say, go for a nice sunset run, amazing, you just like feel free you don't think about anything, just your footsteps, your breathing, and yeah, it's overall like amazing. If you haven't tried running or you're thinking about it, just go into it. It will be hard at first, but after a while, it's it's fun. And when you get your first runner's high, best feeling ever, like best feeling. Doing my ultra, I had runner's high at one stage, maybe around like the middle. And uh, I felt amazing. The sunset was coming. The sunset was beautiful. And uh, yeah, 
and it felt amazing. So, third question. Why did I attempt to run 100k or my first ultra? And what's the meaning behind all of it? Well, the main idea behind me running this ultra and attempting to run 100k's was mainly I wanted to prove myself right. Sometimes you start doubting yourself if you, you can actually do something, if you're actually capable of doing it. And I feel like when you actually start doubting yourself, you just have to put yourself out there. You have to do something very hard and prove yourself right. Maybe let's say my case, I attempted 100K. I won't lie, not a lot of preparation, very spontaneous, but I did 51.5 kilometers. That's the farthest distance I've ever run. It. And uh, so I'm pretty happy with our results being that I ran with like a messed up knee. Like I couldn't bend my knee throughout the race. After let's say 10K, I couldn't bend my knee. It was horrible. I had uh, like a knee brace on, it was bad. But the main meaning behind also was I got a little sister and I got my mom and I wanted to show them like even if times are gonna be like tough it's everything let's say will work out in the end I wanted to show them that they have let's say a strong figure like I want to be that strong figure that they can like look up to like for example my little sister I want to be that strong brother that she can look up to, she can always count on it and uh, yeah and like to show her as well like everything is possible with like hard work and that life won't be easy always but for example that she will have me to help her with whatever she needs. My mom as well showing her that she has a strong son and is always there to help whenever times are hard and stuff. And the other reason was as well to make my dad proud. And uh, yeah. Fourth question. How do you feel after the run? How did the run go? So, <laughs> we got there around, uh, let's say, the race started at 11, 11 a.m. I got there eight minutes before it started. We couldn't find a parking spot, and we got there in a rush. My friend and I, and we like ran, sprinted. I got my big ball. I quickly pinned it on my shorts. <laughs> I put like I uh, like I, I put on my vest. Didn't have. I think I only had like maybe a bottle of water. Yeah, it was warm water, and I didn't put any sunscreen at all. I ended up forgetting to put some very bad decision like after a few days oh like even after the run it was burning the showers was, was like it was bad it was like very bad and now right now i got like very bad tan line but yeah start off the race felt amazing no pain at all it was amazing it still i was it was still going through my mind like wow i'm here i'm attempting 100 kilometers doing my first ultra and it's crazy where like life ended up taking from if, like maybe nine months ago, ten months ago, no running at all, never run properly, like long distance, let's say. And now we're here running 51.5 k's, and uh, crazy experience. I was the youngest runner there for the 100 k's, and. Uh, it was, it was something, <laughs> it was hard, very hot, there was no trees giving like shade, it was just playing out in the open, a lot of hills, I didn't expect it to be that many hills, and a lot of sand, it was 300 meters of sand if I'm not wrong, and each loop was 3k's, so that sand was brutal, like, it, it was bad. But apart from that, amazing, like amazing experience. The people that I met there, super nice. They were like motivating me, 
hand because they saw my knee. My knee, I couldn't bend my knee. I was limping. Like there were some laps that I had to walk because it was bad. Like I couldn't bend it at all without pain. And after the pain like faded away a little bit, I could run, but I had to change my whole running style. Like I was running, putting all the weight on my right leg, and running with uh, my left leg straight. Very bad, but it paid off in the end. We always push through. You always have to push through. Like I won't hide. Like maybe 10 k's in the run, I want to quit. Like my body was flimsy, my arms were hurting, everything was hurting, and uh, I thought I was gonna quit. But then I remember, like I'm here for a reason. I'm here to be an example for my little sister to show her that she has a strong brother that she can look up to. And my mom, she has a strong son that she can feel confident that he will succeed in life, be strong, and be able to take care of the family. And yeah, I just knew how to push through as well for my dad. I knew how to make him proud. And I just knew that from that point, quitting wasn't an option. I was gonna go until my body gave up. Like, I, have, I was not quitting. So I went through, knee pain, everything, but we pushed and the sunset that day, it was beautiful, like it was, it was an amazing sunset, like I can't describe it with words right now, but there will be some videos that I have to like, there will be in the video, but sunset was spectacular, in person it was crazy. I'm out of words still for that sunset, but it was a good run. It was. I'm, I'm very happy with the results. Got my medal, and uh, yeah, we just gonna wait until I recover. Gonna get my knee sorted out, and uh, we'll be back. Probably doing some more long runs, marathons, 5Ks, and yeah, but very good experience and I'm very happy and I hope I've inspired some of you to start running or maybe attempt their first 5k and just get out there or do something hard that will like challenge you you know because it's always good to challenge yourself and prove yourself right and yes it's been an experience I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I put a lot of time into this. And yeah, we're gonna keep grinding hard, keep working hard, achieving more goals, and keep improving every single day. So keep working hard, don't procrastinate, and chase after your dreams. I'll see you guys in the next video.